Ring circlings. <laughs> Don't ask what that was. Cause I can't, I couldn't tell you. Today is a very important day in my life. Why you may ask? Because today is the start of a new week. Well, really it's Sunday, but it's okay. I'll just pretend like it's the start of a new week. But today is another makeup video. I like, what can I say? I like doing makeup right now. It's one of those creative stages that I'm in right now. But this week we are going to be doing one color every day for a week. Also known as the one color makeup challenge, but and not just any color in any order. The rainbow. Starting backwards. No, I'm kidding. I'm not I'm not that crazy, okay? I'm just moderately crazy. Today will be red. Mostly crazy. Huh? Mostly crazy. Nope, moderately crazy. I think I'm also gonna swatch all of the reds that I own. This is my favorite palette that has red in it, which is the MAC one. I think it's called the flamboyant palette. This color in particular, this really beaten up color. This is the color that I used every day of the week. That was the color I used when I was the Baroness in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which was the last play that I did before this all happened. These MAC shadows are very hard to swatch because they're pressed very thoroughly. It's also very obnoxious to try to get color out of because it's pressed so hard you gotta really try to get in there oh my goodness look at that shade that shade is right there oh, oh this one's pretty too that one's this one so those wow i got really janky with my swatches but those are all of the reds that i have most of them are yellow and orange but it's okay the only true red i have is this one which is the baroness red and i'm going to do a smoky ish eye sometimes i like to put my eyes really big so i can blend around it because sometimes I can blend too far down into my crease and then when I do this it's gone all my work is gone I also have this terrible habit of putting eyeshadow really low down and then I have to sm smudge it away and really swirl it in there because we can't get any pigment out see what I mean like that's not that's okay so I have this really short time lapse and I just needed to fill it up with something so I just want to say hi I had to scratch up the color because I wasn't getting any color pretty much well, I guess I'm saying hi again, and bye. Okay, I know it's not looking the best right now, but bear with me, it will possibly get better. I'm gonna go into the color Flamboyant. We're going to put that near the crease area. And oh, ooh. It's raining now. It was like 90 degrees and now it's raining. It's like Florida weather here. <laughs> The sun is shining while it's raining. I'm putting flame buoyant all over all of our hard work and making it shiny. Now taking, oh, dear me. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of like bring this out a little bit instead of a circular shape, more of a like a winged out shape. Oh, it stopped raining already. Oh, it's raining again. The weather is crazy. It really is like Florida here. If you don't look too close, they look even. And that's what I strive for. Fan the flames. <laughs> and we're gonna put that right in the center. This one is definitely more orange, but I don't even care because it's gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go back into the NYX palette and grab this red. This is a little crazy, but might put that in my lash line. You gotta be very careful if you're doing the bottom lash line. I know you're not supposed to tug on your eyes, but I just very gently sweeping it on. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes because I have the straightest lashes in the world. I like how they look curled because then they take the mascara better. One time actually I created this perfect beautiful black eyeliner and it had a wing and it was beautiful and I was really proud of it and I was using a mascara that I always use so I was just going in with it and not really paying attention 
and I finished putting on mascara and I'm really happy with the look and I bump into my mirror and I smear it all over my eye look and messing up the black liner. And I was really upset because I had just spent the past 10 minutes perfecting that eyeliner and then it just got ruined and I was just so happy. No, I am not the best at uh, applying lipstick, frankly. I don't care. I'm sorry. It's, I don't care. It's a lip color. Eyes are way more interesting. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. For blush, I go with a very orange blush, but that's for tomorrow. And you know what I'm going in with? This one. Do I look crazy? Duh. And with that, day one is completed. This exposes it. This makes it more orange, but I don't mind. Oh, that was classy. I feel like this one's very confident. This one's very sure of herself. She kind of talks like this a lot. Maybe she's Southern. Maybe she has an office job. Maybe she's the boss. This is day one. Are we ready for day two or what? I love the color orange, but for some reason, I don't have anything, any clothes that are orange. So I'm wearing something that's peach. So since today is orange day, I get to use my orange blush, which is from this palette, Dauphine. But I'm putting this on first, because I, I noticed yesterday the blush looked very intense. So I, I think that if I put this on first, then it has time to like fade down a little bit. So it's not so crazy. Or maybe I could just put on less. <laughs> That's an idea. So my makeup collection is primarily orange because the first palette that I got was this one ever and I fell in love with it. This is what it looks like and it is absolutely gorgeous. This one is a very true to orange shade and that's what it looks like. And then there's also this one, which doesn't look like it's orange, but the undertone is orange. Almond Jelly, this one right here is um, first of all, gorgeous. There's a few orange shades in here. And we have this one, which is almost exactly like the very first one that I did. One in here called Toasty, which I never use. Because frankly, I forget about it. Oh, and it's poopy, that's why. And finally, what possibly one of my favorite oranges is from this little guy. He's his own little palette. Oh, it's so cute. He looks brown, but he has a slight orange undertone. I use him as transition shades. This is the orange lineup for today. These are all matte oranges, except for this one. I think I might do a full matte look. Sorry for the really dramatic hair flips. It's just what I do. I also happen to have this, which is also from the same company as this. <laughs> It's more neutral than I remember. I might use it as a liner. So I think I'm gonna go in with the little guy first, just to show off his wonder and beauty. <laughs> Get ready for the magic. When I wanna be a little bit fancy, but I don't wanna go full out artistry on people, I would pull out something like this little guy. And this brush is tainted, I can tell, because this guy is orange, I swear he is. And this, this brush tinted his beauty. And go into mango pudding, which I swear mangoes are more yellow than orange, but. Honestly, I really wish that I had just left the look like this. I really like how vibrant and bright it is. On a scale of one to raccoon, how scary do I look? <laughs> I laid down the main color on the eyelid. So now I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend out the edges and then we'll see where to go from there i like that so far this is going great oh my gosh things are going to plan i'm starting to freak out that things are going <laughs> things are gonna go wrong very soon i'm gonna go in with warm cocoa with a thin little brush i'm gonna go along my crease that's taking away some of the eyeshadow so i'm gonna try to go in with the slightly bigger one and See that where that takes us. See, it's taking away. This has never happened to me before, but I'm just gonna keep on going, I guess, and see what happens. Well, we do have 
a very similar shadow in this one that we could reuse and see if that will fix it. Okay, it's doing it. It's doing the thing that I wanted it to do. It's a big orange blob right now, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it how it is. <laughs> no, I'm okay with this look turning into a circle. The other one I wanted to be very pointed. This one we can round out. So I'm gonna go back into the same shade that betrayed me. What I really love about orange is it makes my blue eyes pop because they're complementary colors. As in they're on different sides of the color spectrum. That's not the right word, color wheel. Going back to the other brush that betrayed me, we're going to go back to our concealer. Since this eye look became very circular, we're gonna cut out this center. So in this time lapse, I'm cutting out my crease with some concealer to lay down a base for some nice shadows. Now I know how crazy I look. I am completely and utterly aware. Now, since you all asked, I'm going to tell you what I do for my brows. First I brush them up, which I just did. Then I line the bottom of my brow, just that. I have this small itty bitty spot where not a lot of hair grows. And I just do downward strokes here. And then on this side as well. See, it doesn't really bother me. I just decide, hey, I have the tools. I can fix it when I want to be fancy. And then I brush through, making sure I brush up. And I'm done. That's all I do for my brows. Because there's already hair on my face. I think that the color that I'm gonna go on the eyelid with is this guy. No. Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. I know this looks crazy, just trust me, I'm doing my best. It will get there, it will. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this color and put that on top. Now we're gonna go into the same orange and blend into the inner and the outer corners. There is a patch right there I'm trying to fix. Can you see it? Because I can. <laughs> it's very funny. Now I, even, I look even more like a clown now. Sweet. I feel like whenever I do these makeup videos, the one thing that they have in common is that something goes wrong and then I have to fix it. I'm going to take a tiny brush and my lid quid and we're just gonna dip it in here and i gotta act fast because it's a cream to powder kind of thing i'm not gonna put that much just a very gentle line everything that could have possibly gone wrong today went wrong except for the glitter liner thank you glitter liner okay i'm almost done i'm going to curl my lashes put on some mascara and i will be right back ready i'm gonna do this really cool transition ready uh, did that work? I hope it did. <laughs> but I'm going to give every color a personality. Orange is, if you give her too much attention, then she'll start to wear away. Get it, play on words. She's a very balanced friend. She may like symmetry. She may like math. I don't know. But orange can also be very playful. They're more into natural beauty and how they look naturally. Yeah, balanced, I think, is the word for her. That's orange. Day three. Could I be more appropriate? I don't think so. Earlier this morning, my mom and I went on this little quest to see if we could find some really yellowish gold shades. There's a fine line between yellow and, like, bronzy. So we had to choose which ones were way too bronzy and that I couldn't use, and we had to eliminate them. Like most of these, I have never done a full yellow gold look before. My sister owns one or two palettes, my older sister, and this is one of them. Voila! She is gonna let me use this palette, and I'm going to use this one as well today and it's called big bang starting out with the matchmaker palette get it matt Shh, maker <laughs> there's one called alex whatever his last name is and that is this color and my nyx ultimate palette there is the what was it this one it's 
very light in color. Next is the Miami palette and this one and that one is a true yellow gold and then my favorite palette which actually betrayed me yesterday and i'm still not happy about that spiced caramel which is my favorite gold and then it's sister chia pudding which still is absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna count that anyways even if it does look more orange and finally the morphe palette in the color this one so this is our lineup so I'm going to go in with this one, which we shall not speak of its name, and highlight, maybe? Oh, oh, it's kind of getting there. I might not even use the darkest shimmer because when I imagine yellow, I imagine someone very lighthearted and soft and emotional. She wouldn't wear a bunch of dark colors is what I'm trying to say. I also think the reason why yellow would be so soft is because she gets bullied a lot, you know? Like all these other colors are so strong and pigmented. If you're not careful, she'll get eaten up by everyone else because she's so delicate. That's why I'm taking the time to clean all my brushes beforehand. I gotta look out for my girl, you know? We're gonna go in with this color. In my crease, I guess. Hello? Oh, she's kind of, oh, she's getting there. I'm realizing now that my colors are very limited. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in with a bang. <laughs> you can barely see her. I don't know why, but I always get super excited when I see yellow. I'm also trying to go for like a very circular, like barely any out here, very. Oh, you know what I should have done for the, for orange, I should have done this because I said that orange was very balanced and that would have made sense if I had done this because there's, the same amount on both sides. See, I've gotta plan these things out before I do them. Am I gonna actually do that? No, but you know, it's the thought that counts. I'm thinking of doing this color and I might do that on the outer corners and make another halo eye. You know what? I think I need to put down a base first and more base. Very scary work. Boop. And unlike last time, we're gonna cut out the entire lid. Okay. Boom. Good. I did that. Okay. Just gotta. <laughs> All right, I'm going in with the small brush to see if I can lure her out. I'm literally gonna get a water bottle sprayer and just spray actual water on it to make it stick. Oh, oh, it's happening. Another short time lapse. There's a bug. Ooh. Keep your distance six feet apart, get away. Well, that was just put on the outer corner. Oh, I forgot the inner corner. <laughs> okay, inner corner, go. I'm so happy with that. That's looking so great right now. And now we're gonna go back to the name that shall not be spoken and put that in the center. This may be where, where it goes wrong, but I wanna put a little bit of this in the inner and outer corners, just right next to the lash line to give it a little bit more depth. Okay. Yes, okay. This is going great. I feel like I'm pushing my luck or something's gonna go wrong eventually. This is definitely wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna take my face primer and I'm gonna put a little boop of that underneath my eyes. So it has at least a little bit of something to stick to so it shows up. We have chickens and they are very loud. I'm also going to use a lighter. Can you not please? Okay. Thank you. Today I'm going to use a different mascara. That's a little bit lighter 
because I feel like this look shouldn't have a very intense sort of mascara. And I will do the cool transition thing because that happened to work. Okay, ready? Ba -da! Let's hope that worked again. <laughs> Even my chapstick is yellow, so I can put that on. Uh -huh. I feel like I should put on a little bit of blush. Just a little bit of this one. It just on the apples of my cheeks. Because I feel like that would go very well with her. And you all know by now that a little bit for me means the average amount for a normal human being. <laughs> and that's it. Um, this is the yellow look. I am really happy with it. The older that I get, the more I embrace kind of the girly side of me. But I'm kind of leaning into that now that I, I am expressing myself through makeup. I always describe myself as like a flower child and I think that my clothing reflects that. And now since my makeup is reflecting my clothing, you know, you can, yeah, I'm really good with words, so. <laughs> I, I have been talking about Yellow throughout my video about what I think her personality would be and I think that still holds true. She's very soft. She's very, she's very forgiving. She likes, she's a people pleaser. She likes to uh, do things for other people. These are really all reflections of my personality. They're all parts of my personality. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but that is it for today. I will see you during Green Day, which is the day that I'm least excited about. Hello, future Zoe here. I just wanted to pop in to say that I did not know that I was splitting this video in two when I filmed that part of the video, so I wanted to film a quick outro. And stick around until next week because I'm going to be doing the same video except for green, blue, and purple.